Okay, so now we're being asked to create something like this preview here, but they're putting the steps here at the beginning. Create a table with the attribute border zero. So, okay, let's do that. Let's create a table, open, close, and then border zero. It's an attribute. And then add a row TR with two columns. So, TR, TR, and then inside, we're going to put TD and TD. Okay, the first column containing an image with the attribute height 150. So, an image tag has something like this IMG, and then you got to put the source to the image. That's how it works. And then you close your image like that. By the way, you can close tags like this, opening and closing, or you can just self close it by putting a slash at the end, and then you don't need the closing tag because it's a tag that will never have something inside. So you can self close it. And then here you put the path to an image that I don't have. So let's look for an image anywhere on the web. So we're going to look for, let's say, um, pretty uh, dog, whatever. And then this is going to be our image. We copy the image address. And then we put it on our exercise like this. Hopefully it will work. Oh, no, that image, that image is not a real image. We got to use an image that has a, a PNG or a JPG. So we got to double check the addresses before. So let's try with another address. Nope, this one doesn't work either. Come on, I want to have an image. Copy image address, paste. Yeah, this one finishes in .jpg. And uh, it's super smart, uh, not super, but it's smaller than the other one. The other one had the entire image on the URL. It's a new technology. Well, it's not new, but it's the newest. So we got to put this here. It's a lot smaller, as you can see. And then the second one, uh, well, it's telling us that we got to put the height of 150. So height, 150. And then the second one with the attribute via line top to move the text to the top. Okay, the second one gotta have this. Ah, and the text, we're gonna use loading ipsum again for that. So loading ipsum generator and we copy some text till here. And then we paste it inside this. And let's try it to see if it if it looks like that. Yeah, looks some, somehow like that. If I make it shorter, you'll see that it looks somewhat similar to the to the example that we had. And that's it.